All right. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Facebook. Hello, close, close personal friends of Weird Al. Um, I'm here today with a little bit of a different video. Uh, normally, I'm the one behind the camera. Uh, today, I'm doing my first unboxing video, so I'm putting myself in front of the camera for a change. Um, what I've got here, uh, it is the collected works of Weird Al Yankovic. Um, now, if you don't like Weird Al Yankovic, if you don't like unboxing videos, then why are you watching? It says right in the description. It's a Weird Al Yankovic unboxing. Anyways. Alright, so this arrived yesterday. Um, it is the collected works of Weird Al. Um, I've already pre-opened it because, well, let's face it, if I'm going to lose a thumb or a finger, I'd rather not do it on video. Alright. Nice big honking piece of styrofoam here. Keep this bad boy in place. <laughs> All right. Oh, more plastic. <laughs> All right. So the title of this project is uh, Squeeze Box, uh, because Weird Al, of course, is known for playing the accordion, uh, as many parodies. Uh, so what he's done, he's um, Kind of made a replica of his accordion, <laughs> his signature instrument, his axe, if you will. Um, and he's placed all of his uh, 14 studio albums in this, uh, uh, this um, accordion. Uh, and how this was sold, back in January, uh, it was put out through Pledge Music. So basically you had to pre-purchase this in order for them to, to put it together and make it. Um, all right, so I'll now take a break here while I remove this from the box and uh, put it out and I'll show you what's all, what it's all about. All right, we're back. It is officially unboxed. <laughs> all right, where we go? Let's unsnap the top there. Uh, now, of course, as I said, it's a, it's, it's a replica accordion. So you've got the keys here, of course, non-functioning. Um, the bellows. Uh, the bellows, of course, is where the albums are, but we'll get to we'll get to that in a second. Just finish opening this. Another snap in the bottom. Uh, now, of course, there is also a book that is attached here. Now. Anybody were to take this uh, to get autographed by by Weird Al, I would probably say don't bring the whole the whole box, the whole accordion. Just bring the book. Get him to sign that because it fits nicely in here. Um, oh, I guess I could have showed you. That's <laughs> yes, it's displayed in there nicely. All right. So inside the bellows of the accordion, we have all of Weird Al's studio albums. Um, goes right back to his debut CD. This of course featured Ricky, I Love Rocky Road, Happy Birthday, Stop Dragging My Car Around. That was a parody of a uh, Tom Petty song, Stop Dragging My Heart Around. My Bologna, of course the Kinks parody. Uh, and Mr. Frump and the Iron Lung. <laughs> uh, now I didn't get the, the LP versions because I don't have a turntable. What I did was I got the CD versions of these uh, these albums um, because well again I don't have a turntable why would I buy something that I can't listen to all right that of course was Al's debut album didn't do as well as maybe he had hoped but the next album of course which is the one most people probably know Weird Al Yankovic in 3D uh, this was the album that featured uh, the smash hit Eat It which of course was a parody of Michael Jackson's Beat It. Uh, couldn't have been timed any better. At the time, Weird Al, or sorry, Michael Jackson's album Thriller was, uh, was massive and it was, uh, was eating up the charts. What else we got here? Uh, I Lost on Jeopardy, another classic. The Brady Bunch, uh, that is a parody of Men Without Hats, um, safety dance song. King of Suede, parodying the uh, police. 
And Nature Trail to Hell, another Weird Al original. Al tends to finish off all of his albums with an original song. He's known mainly for parodies to the uh, to the world, but um, you know he also does his own songs that, of course, his fans are uh, love him for. Uh, Dare to be stupid. This, of course, came from the title track "Dare to Be Stupid." That was originally featured in the first animated Transformers film. Uh, of course, we've also got a Dare to Be Stupid was a, a style parody of Devo, uh, "Like a Surgeon," parodying. Madonna's Like a Virgin, I Want a New Duck, parodying Huey Lewis's I uh, Want a New Drug. My personal favorite Weird Al song, One More Minute. This is this is what I call, this is my jam. <laughs> this is the song that I play, that, that I'll sing in karaoke. Uh, Yoda, uh, another uh, Kinks parody. Lola. Uh, George of the Jungle. <laughs> and Hooked on Pokas. Another thing that Al would do is he would take a series of songs, uh, popular at the time, and mash them into one big polka medley. Always fun. Alright, next up, we have... Polka Party! <laughs> um, I don't really remember this album when it originally came out. Living with a Hernia, parodying Living in America, Doggy Dog, Addicted to Spuds, parodying uh, Robert Palmer, Addicted to Love. Um, Christmas at Ground Zero, a holiday favorite. <laughs> Forward. Okay, another Michael Jackson parody, <laughs> Fat. Um, this, of course, is from the album Even Worse. The album cover, of course, is parodying Michael Jackson's Bad, which, um, that's the album that, uh, Fat, the parody, came from, which was bad. Uh, I Think I'm a Clone Now, parodying, uh, I Think I'm We're Alone Now, which at the time was a big hit for Tiffany. I even remember her. <laughs> Sorry, Tiffany. Uh, Velvet Elvis. I think that's an original lasagna parodying La Bamba. This song is just six words long. Uh, that is parodying George Harrison's song. Uh, that I can't remember now for the life of me. Okay, moving along. Next up, we have UHF. This was the soundtrack uh, to Weird Al's first and so far only. <laughs> film, UHF. Uh, this film launched the career of Michael Richards from Seinfeld, Kramer. Alright, so on this album we have Money for Nothing Bever slash Beverly Hillbillies, uh, Attack of the Radioactive Hamsters, uh, Isle Thing, a parody of Wild Thing, The Hot Rocks Polka, that is a parody, sorry, that's a, uh, a polka medley of Rolling Stones tracks. She Drives Like Crazy, parodying the Fine Young Candles, she drives me crazy. Generic blues. Spatula City. <laughs> and Fun Zone. Uh, that, of course, opened all of the dates on Al's last tour, the mandatory fun tour. Up next is Off the Deep End, uh, another album cover parody. This is parodying, of course, Nirvana's um, Nevermind album. Um, and the big, two, well, the lead-off track on this album, this uh, this album was "Smells Like Nirvana," which of course is a parody of "Smells Like Teen Spirit," Nirvana's uh, breakout hit. Now, of course, Nirvana, when uh, they realized that they'd been parodied by um, by Weird Al, have actually been quoted as saying that this is when they knew that they had made it. <laughs> All right, what else do we got on this album? "Poke Your Eyes Out." I was only kidding. The white stuff. When I was your age, Taco Grande, there's a parody for you. Uh, Rico Suave, remember that song? And uh, You Don't Love Me Anymore. That's another one that I think I'd probably take a stab at at karaoke. All right. Next up, Alapalooza. This, of course, features the song Jurassic Park, which... Uh, that's, I knew this before. <laughs> it parodies a, a Richard Harris song. 
Um, Bedrock Anthem, parodying the uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Achy Breaky Song. Remember Billy Ray Cyrus? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Living in the Fridge. That was parodying Aerosmith's Living on the Edge. Uh, Waffle King and Bohemian Polka, which is a uh, collection of uh, Queen songs done in the style of polka. What's a polka? All right. And next up we have Bad Hair Day. Uh, <laughs> this album got Al, well, this song rather, Amish Paradise, got Al in a little bit of hot water with Coolio uh, when he parodied Gangsta's Paradise. Um, Coolio, I, I can't remember if it was Coolio's People or Coolio, I think it was Coolio's People, said, yeah, go ahead, sure, sign that royalty check. And then when the album, when the song came out, Coolio, of course, was not so cool <laughs> with the, with the, uh, the parody. Uh, Gump, a parody of a Presence of the United States of America song. The Night Santa Went Crazy, another classic, classic, um, Holiday song. Um, the Alternative Polka. Since You Begun. I thought, remember reading that and thinking it was a parody, but that's actually a, uh, that's a, an original. That's an Al original. All right. So, after g g gaining the ire of, uh, of Coolio, um, Al cooled it for a little bit, and I don't think he was he heard from him for a little while. And, uh, but he came out of seclusion bigger and better than ever with Running With Scissors. Now this, of course, this album, uh, the lead-off track on this album was The Saga Begins. Now on this album, this song rather, he was parodying uh, Don McLean's American Pie, and it was telling the story of Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace. Um, now there was some questions people were asking Al if he had, had if he had seen an advanced copy of the the movie because his, his song seemed to tell the, the story so well but he denies uh, he denies being having uh, having had access to it um, he says that the song that he wrote was made mainly from uh, you know pieces of information he got from the internet and the existing trailers all right uh, pretty fly for a rabbi that's parodying pretty fly for a white guy Jerry Springer, which parodies the Bare Naked Ladies One Week. Uh, Polka Power. Grapefruit Diet. Uh, that is parodying. Uh, oh, the Zoot Suit. Zoot Suit Riot. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and Albuquerque. Another favorite Weird Al uh, original. This was the album for which uh, the, the, the tour uh, was the first time I'd uh, seen Al perform. Um, so I'm in here in Toronto, and there was a DVD filmed on that tour, not in Toronto, but uh, somewhere in California. Uh, this is a this is a great album. If you're if you're an Al or a great video, if you're an Al fan, I could not recommend this any higher. Um, now my story of Weird Al there for that store for that show, um, I was working in a store that had a Ticketmaster outlet at the time. Nobody came to get tickets for this show. And I lucked out. I managed to get what I thought were second row seats. Uh, and I was excited about that, pretty stumped, pretty stoked about that. Get to the show and realize there was no row double A. So there I was, front row center at a Weird Al Yankovic concert. <laughs> Alright, moving forward a couple of years. Poodle Hat. Another parody <laughs> and more trouble for Weird Al. Um, Weird Al's song Couch Potato, which was the first song off this album, um, was a parody of Eminem's Lose Yourself, which was from his 8 Mile soundtrack. Um, Eminem said, yeah, sure, go ahead, sign the royalty checks and parody that song. But when Eminem's movie 8 Mile started to be taken seriously, um, he refused to allow Al uh, the, the, uh, the rights to the song to make a video. So. You know, Al had already gone out and spent all this money preparing for this video. Uh, he ended up having to do another completely different song. All right, so we also have uh, Angry White Boy Polka, Wanna Be Your Lover, um, a complicated song parodying Avril Lavigne's Complicated, Ode to a Superhero, which is parodying P. 
Piano Man by Billy Joel, telling the story of Spider-Man, uh, the first Tobey Maguire film. All right. Next up, Straight Outta Linwood. Uh, White and Nerdy was the first track off of this album, um, and the video for this uh, this is absolutely hysterical. Um, it features Weird Al and Donny Osmond. Uh, Weird Al, of course, is you know rapping along the song. Donny Osmond is just doing the this hysterical uh, dance alongside him. Um, there's actually there's two versions of the video. There's the video, final cut, and then there's another version which is just Al and Donny performing in front of a green screen. That's the one you want to watch. Uh, Canadian Idiot, Canadian Idiot, which is parodying uh, Green Day's American Idiot. Uh, Do I Creep You Out, another original. Trapped in the drive through and Don't Download This Song. Uh, that was parodying, well, that was a, that was a style parody um, of charity singles. Um, okay. Next up. We have Al Apocalypse on this album. Uh, Al parodied uh, Lady Gaga with "Perform This Way" uh, from her song "Born This Way." Uh, ringtone, which ironically is one of my ringtones on my phone. Uh, another tattoo. That's a parody that slips my mind. I'm sorry, but as as, <laughs> as we get into uh, current popular music, I, 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 like many fans, I, I don't recognize the song that's being parodied. Um, CNR, uh, it's a song about Charles Nelson Riley. Uh, that is a style parody of the White Stripes. TMZ, uh, Skipper Dan, what else we got here? Craigslist, there's a style parody of The Doors. And Poker Face, another one of Al's uh, compilations. Oh, getting back to this album. Yeah, this album, I was kind of kind of uh, upset because not only did Al show up in my town and performing a, a show that I missed, he filmed it! <laughs> so Weird Al Yankovic, The Apocalypse Tour, uh, is available on DVD. This was filmed at Massey Hall here in Toronto. Um, Massey, and again, Massey Hall is one of my favorite concert venues, so I was a little bummed to miss that. All right. And finally, well, finally, as far as the uh, albums go, the studio albums go, Mandatory Fun. Uh, this was Al's, not really his swan song, but his uh, the end of his contract uh, with his record label. Um, from going forward from this point, Al is going to concentrate mainly on, um, uh, well, retirement? No. <laughs> uh, Al is going to be releasing uh, songs... Probably individually as they go come up, um, maybe an album here and there. Okay, on this album, uh, the big, the big uh, leadoff single was "Tacky," and that was uh, parodying Pharrell's um, "Happy." What else we got here? Now that's what I call polka. It's polka medley. Uh, Mission statements, inactive word crimes, parodying uh, Robin Thicke's uh, song. Um, and Foil, which was a parody of Lord's uh, song, um, Royals. Alrighty. Uh, I saw this tour uh, a couple of years ago, uh, two summers ago? I saw this tour two summers ago. Um, had great seats. And uh, if you're on my Facebook page, uh, have a look through my photos. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but there are some pretty good shots from that, uh, that tour. All right. Last but not least. Uh, when Al was putting this set together, uh, he wanted to do something, he, knowing that most of his fans probably already have all these albums, uh, wanted to, you know, put a little caveat in there. Something to make people want to buy it. And what he put together was... Medium Rarities. <laughs> this is a collection of songs, um, that some of which were, whoops, some of which had previously been released, some of which had not. Um, now the back, back of this is backwards, so I'll have to flip it over. Track listing on this album is Take Me Down from 1978. The original version of By Bologna, that's the capital single version. That's not the album, that's not the version of By Bologna that ended up on um, his first album. Um, a demo of Yoda. 
the Dr. Demento jingle, Pac-Man, which is a parody of the Beatles' Taxman, uh, an instrumental version of Dare to be Stupid. Oh, I see a ringtone there. <laughs> uh, Jurassic Park, that is the Japanese version of Jurassic Park. Headline News, uh, that, uh, that's his parody of mm mm mm, -mm. <laughs> Uh, Since You've Been Gone, a karaoke version. The Night Santa Went Crazy, the extra gory version, which was not on the album, uh, but he does that one in concert. Uh, Spy Hard, which was the title track from the, the film of the same name, um, only released on the soundtrack to that album. Lousy Haircut, Homer and Marge, which is a parody of Jack and Diane by John Mellencamp. That was featured, of course, in The Simpsons, The Brain Song, 30 Rock theme parody, uh, super, super duper party pony. I'm gonna assume that has something to do with something I have nothing. To, I have no idea of uh, My Little Pony. <laughs> uh, Sir Isaac Newton versus Bill Nye. That's a great video. Uh, Let the fun fit the crime. Hey hey, we're the monks. Comedy bang bang theme from Comedy Central. Uh, it's my world and we're all living in it. Beat on the brat and a new version of Happy Birthday. So 23 brand new songs for all you Weird Al nuts. All right. So that is about it for me. Um, it doesn't make any noise for anybody that's wondering. That's, that's all it does. Is it uh, contains the albums. Um, the keys, of course, are non-functioning. Um, it's a pretty good size, though. I think the, the box, uh, the shipping uh, manifest for the box said it weighed about uh, 22 pounds or 10 point something kilograms um, and like I said uh, it is uh, it's it's available right now in limited availability because like I said it was made um, through a uh, pledge music um, um, uh, video or a pledge music uh, <laughs> website um, so basically uh, these were made uh, tailor-made for folks who were, you know, investing in it. Um, there are a few available through Amazon, eBay, and such. Um, you are going to probably pay a lot more than I paid for it. Not to rub it in, but, um, <laughs> yeah, this was just something that when I, when I saw it, just had to order it. All right. So, uh, thank you for taking the time to watch my video and listen to me ramble here. Um, yeah, if you like Weird Al, I would recommend grabbing this uh, while you still can. Uh, see him on tour in 2018. Uh, he's coming up with the ill-advised vanity tour in 2018. Um, what he's doing there, no parodies, all original songs. Um, yeah, probably going to be a lot of fun. It's only playing in the small theaters, too. So, All right. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye.